Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to emulate original PlayStation games on a PlayStation 2. So, the materials you're going to need is obviously a PlayStation 2. Here I have a PlayStation 2 Slim. You don't need the original one. I think pretty much any PS2 this will work with. You're going to need, though, a free McBoot memory card. If you don't have a free McBoot memory card, you can order one off eBay for like 20 bucks, or I'll link to a video how I made my own. It's a tutorial video I followed to make your own. So you can make your own or just order one if you don't have one already. You're going to need a free McBoot memory card. You're also going to need a USB flash drive. Mine is just 8 gigs, it doesn't really matter. I think most will work, so you're going to also need a USB flash drive. Okay, so now you need to go to a Windows computer. I'm actually on a Linux computer, so I'm just emulating Windows here. But you need to have um, your ROM files for the PS1 game you want to emulate. So here we have, um, I have, I'm going to emulate Guardian's Crusade. And usually when you download a ROM file, you'll get a .bin and a .q file. So then what you want to do is you want to download this. I'll put the link in the description. Pops USB PS2. And you're just going to extract it. And here's Pops USB PS2. Now, it's all in Portuguese. And there's actually a video, a Portuguese video here. You can just watch the video if you don't want to follow this video. Even though it's in Portuguese, it's pretty easy to follow along with. Or you can just watch this video. So, you, if you open Pops USB and Hex Editor, you have an installer here, HW,V673. Run that, and it'll install Hex Workshop. You're going to want Hex Workshop. Then what you want to do is you want to take your files, your ROM files for your game, and we're going to just copy them into the Pops USB folder. And then once it's copied, you're going to take guardianscrusade.q and drag and drop it onto q2pops. And then click run. And it'll take a second. And then when it's done, you'll get this new file here called guardianscrusade.vcd. That's a virtual CD. It's a single file that represents both of these two files. So what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we want to rename it to a, you want to give it a name that is six letters long. It has to be six. So I want to name it something maybe GRD for Guardian and maybe CRS for Crusade. And then you're going to put dot bin after it, like that. So there, it becomes Guardian Crusade dot bin. Then what you want to do is you want to drag and drop execute dot ELF onto Hex Workshop. Now we're going to go to Edit, Replace, and you're going to go up here and you're going to select Text String. And then when you select Text String in the type, you're going to type in MyDump.Bin. And then you're going to replace that with um, the name of your file, so GuardianCrusade.Bin. So that's why they need to be six characters long, because MyDump.Bin is six characters. Then we're just going to click OK, and then click Replace, and then it should have replaced it. So as you can see, it says GRD CRS bin. That got replaced. Now we're going to save this. And now we should have execute.elf and guardiancrusade.bin. You want to just go, you just want to go ahead and just rename it to the same thing. That way you can tell what this is. This will this ELF will run that. Then we're just going to create a new folder and we're going to call it pops. And then we're going to take Guardians Crusade ELF and Ben and we're going to copy and paste it into pops. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this pops file right here or this folder and you're going to put that on the root of your um, USB flash drive. So just plug your USB flash drive in um, and then copy it to it. I can't show you right now because I'm in emulator, but that's all you do. Just plug your USB flash drive in and copy this pops folder to the USB flash drive. Okay, now since everything's set up, we're going to take the free McBoot memory card and we're just going to put it in. 
and then we're going to take the USB flash drive and we're going to put it in the leftmost USB port and now I'm going to start up the PS2 now once it loads we're going to go to ulaunch elf and then we're going to select file browser and press circle then go down to mass and press circle then we're going to go down to pops then we're going to go down to our elf file and press circle now it should take a little while to load so you gotta be patient As you can see, here we have running um, Guardian's Crusade.